Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this feature which shows you where you currently are on your web page. So for example if I scroll here and I reach another section as you can see here the background of the corresponding link changes. So if I'm on the team section right here uh, the team link is being highlighted and so on gallery testimonials contacts as you can see here this could be very useful if you have a long page and you want to when you want your users uh, to know where they currently are on the page so yeah now you've seen it let's get and code it so let's start with our HTML let's place that nav inside of this we'll have an ordered list with list items and anchor tags for those navigation links and for each anchor tag we'll also have a class so about marker and as you uh, as we load the web page you see here uh, the first first section is about section that we see so we will be giving this class of active and then we'll be toggling we'll get to highlight another link we'll say about let's just highlight this one copy it and we had one two three four five in total so five in total next one was team team gallery testimonials and contact section here also let's remove these active classes gallery testimonials mode and the last thing is contact then we need to place those sections we'll be using section tags this will have a will have a class first one was about inside this we'll have an h1 to show you with the text text uh, which section is it so again highlight it copy it paste it four times next thing is team change it all also here gallery gallery Testimonials The last thing last section is contact section. That's it for HTML. Let's get into CSS to get it looking right. So basic reset then I will change the font family of the body real quick. Font family. I use Open Sans sensor. And then for the nav, we'll have, as you saw, position fixed. Top position will be zero. Left also zero. Its width will be 100% of the browser's width. We'll align text to center to center those links. And the background color was black for this navigation. Now let's target those list elements. 
let's style set it to none and we'll display those as inline block elements we can have a look at it how it looks so far looking good so far then let's target those navigation links inside our nav we'll display them as block elements give them some top and bottom and right and left padding get rid of that text decoration by setting text decoration to none the color of the text will be white also set tran transition we'll target we'll animate background color and we'll animation will take place of 0.4 seconds and function will be ease now let's just highlight it let's give it that active class dot active and it's background color for the active navigation link will be gray now you can have a look at it looking as it should be now let's target those sections they will have a top and bottom padding of 30 percent we'll also take align the text to the center now section dot about let's give each section different background color background color will have will have will be using just uh, various shades of gray so about let's yeah five sections next thing next one was team then we had gallery then testimonials the last section was contact section so 888-999 AAA BBB and CCC just to make those colors different yeah, as you can see it's looking as it should be and now we can turn to the fun part which is writing jQuery so first thing is let's place those variables right there get reference to elements on the page now links we'll target those navigation links then also we will need to get navigations height also save sections to our to a variable and the last variable will be document l so the document to this element so first thing is we want to attach event listener to document to know when we are scrolling so on scroll will trigger a callback function inside of this first thing is we need to we want to get uh, the value of how much we have scrolled the page from the top so will be current 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 scroll position and yeah document dot scroll top and now as we want to determine which section is in our site right now so in this um, case it's about 
than team and so on so for that we need to iterate through every single section to check whether it is or isn't in our site and then uh, toggle the active class accordingly so so section dot each so we will we will iterate through every single section that we have on the page so for the function for every iteration and first of all let's get reference to the current the current section that is being iterated through we'll save the two variable which is called self and next thing is we need to check wh whether this section is or isn't in our site so first we want to know when we have scrolled past the top of the section uh, with the bottom of navigation uh, so we want to check what when when this when this the bottom of the navigation has has uh, scrolled past the, the the top of the section so we want to uh, determine when we reach this point right here when we cross uh, the top of this section so for that yeah let's uh, first of all I will write the code and then try to explain to you what is going on there so we'll get a current current uh, sections offset top and check whether it's less than current scroll position plus navigation height so it checks whether whether we have scrolled past this point right here so for example if each section is I don't know 400 pixels in height and now now um, for example this team's uh, offset top is 400 pixels because the section above it is 400 pixels in height so now we're scrolling the page now it's zero now it's getting more and more and more and now when it reaches those 400 and and uh, we scroll past this point that then then this this becomes uh, this if statement becomes true because we have scrolled past the offset top of that element right there and the next thing uh, I want to check whether we have scrolled past the scroll past the active section uh, for that we check whether th this position again uh, is is in this case is less than the bottom of of the active section so we need to place and current school position plus the same navigation height whether it's less Then the self, then the current element that we're iterating through, offset. Whoops, offset. Top. Plus. This element's outer height. And if it is true, we're going to we're going to uh, toggle those classes. So the first thing is we need to get the reference to the element that meets this criteria right here. So target class is equal to dot because we are targeting the class plus we're for referencing to this uh, 
current section dot attribute don't get the class of this element plus market market not market marker because as you see here the about uh, the se about sections uh, class is is the same as this links class plus it has the marker uh, on uh, uh, right here so that's why we're placing marker to get the reference to correct link and first of all we need to remove the class for every single Uh, navigation link and then we're getting we're uh, getting this uh, target uh, this element which we determined with this target variable and we're adding the class of active and that should do the trick let's have a look at it what we have so far refresh the page scroll down yeah see it works like a magic scroll up scroll down and uh, also the great great thing about this is that we are not hard coding in um, these values right here so if remember we set uh, padding to these these sections uh, as a percentage so their their height changes so now if we uh, their height is different right now because we minimize the window and if I scroll now it also changes the links at, at, at this at this uh, point right here as you can see so yeah I hope that you understood this 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 uh, criteria right here if no then then please let me know we'll try to explain it to you maybe an email or something so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye